I'll come to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for City of Romulus City Council regular meeting for Monday, August 24th, 2015. The roll will show that all members are present. Tonight's council meeting agenda is as follows. Number one, agenda, two minutes, three petitioner, four chairperson's report, five mayor's report, six A clerk's report, six B treasurer's <coughs> report, seven public comment, eight unfinished business, nine new business, 10 communication, 11 warrant 15-16, and number 12 adjournment, and a motion would be in order to accept the council meeting agenda as presented. So moved. Support. The mo motion by Mr. Krauss, supported by Mr. Mikowski for approval of the agenda as presented. <coughs> Mr. Kraut? Yes. Mr. Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Agenda approved. Number two minutes for approval are the minutes. Um, this is item 2A. Um, so we're asking for approval of the minutes from the regular council meeting held August 10th, 2015. So move to approve the minutes from the regular meeting August 10th, 2015. Support. Support. The motion by Ms. Makowski, supported by Ms. Abdo, for approval of the minutes from the regular council meeting held August the 10th, 2015. Ms. Makowski? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Uh, abstain. Ms. Choke? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? <coughs> yes. <coughs> Chair votes yes. Motion approved. There were no special meetings held on August the 10th, and there are no petitioners on tonight's agenda. Moving on to item number four, which is the chairperson's report. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, at this time, the chair will recognize uh, Councilman Wadsworth. Uh, Thank you, thank you, Mr. Barton. Um, if I could get support for a, a, mem a memorial resolution for Ronald <coughs> Dumsky, a Romulus resident. So move. Support. Um, I'd, like to, um, I'd like to expand on it. I'll read a statement about Ron, and then I got some personal insights. Uh, Ron passed away on the 11th of August. He was 76 years old. He um, um, was a born in Chicago, Illinois, but for the past in excess of 50 years, lived on Castle Drive with his wife, Carol. Uh, Ramon enjoyed fishing, the outdoors, camping, bird watching, feeding the birds, and he also loved to spend time with his grandkids. Uh, Ron was in the United States Army and he worked at General Motors for 10 years. Uh, from 1970 to 1991, he was the court officer for, um, well, first Judge Stone at the 34th District Court, and he began his career down at the old courthouse on Eureka. Uh, Ron was also known as Captain Ron and his boat, the Icebreaker Two, which he did many charters in the Lake Erie. Um, Ron leaves behind his wife, Carol, of uh, 58 years, and a daughter and a son and two grandkids. Um, that's, uh, that, that's the uh, written part of the statement. Um, from a personal note, I, I first met Ron in 1970, 71, when, when, when he was the court officer at the 34th District Court in Eureka. For the next 45 years, I had a f friendship with Ron, and I could tell a lot of stories, but one of the um, main stories that I would like to tell is the time that he took me and my me and my three sons out into Lake Erie in his boat. And in about 15 minutes, all my sons and myself were seasick as heck. And I'll never forget it, and he thought it was comical, and to make a long story short, by the time we'd come back, since we didn't have a good time, we didn't have to pay. But Ron was a type, type of guy that there was always a laughter in his tone. Um, he didn't have n nothing to say bad about anybody at all. and. Uh, his last five years, his quality of life wasn't the best, but his wife, Carol, of 58 years, took care of him quite well. In fact, uh, Carol was the bus driver that took all my sons to school when they were small. And um, it's just too bad that the uh, world is no longer part of Ron here, and Ron is gone, but he was a good person. Uh, they, had, they had, and they... Um, 
they had and they still do had one of the best looking houses on Castle Drive as you turn the corner. Um, I can remember Ron was into CB radios. He put one in my car and Ron was also a, um, what's the term, it's a ham operator. I remember Ron, myself and my three sons when they were little being down in the basement and Ron would be talking to people in so many different parts of the world and me and my sons were all, also impressed and uh, it's very it's um very sad that he's gone and he was a friend of mine thank you thank you mr mark been motion by mr wadsworth supported by mr kraut for memorial resolution for ron dunsky um, mr wadsworth yes mr kraut yes Ms. roscoe yes Ms. makowski yes Ms. choke yes Ms. abdo yes chair votes yes motion approved um, I don't have anything tonight on the chairman's report. Mr. Chair, if I may, I move that we accept chairman's report. Okay. Been motioned by Ms. Makowski, supported by Ms. Roscoe. We accept the chairperson's report. Ms. Makowski? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you. Number five is the mayor's report. Good evening, council, uh, clerk, deputy clerk, and audience. Um, quote tonight starts off as this. It's more general quote about life. Uh, if you look at what you have in life, you'll always have more. If you look at what you don't have in life, you'll never have enough. So uh, we have a lot going on. Blessed that we have, uh, we had a great event uh, this evening at the cemetery. Uh, and what I'd like to do rather than me rehash some of those is, is if I could, Mr. Chairman, have uh, Mr. Dennis Davidson, please come up and just highlight a couple things. Mark your calendars because we have a lot of uh, a lot of activities and a lot of things going on in the city. Dennis, yeah, Mr. Davis. Okay. Thank you, Mayor, Council, Madam Clerk, Deputy Clerk. Uh, just a note on Ron Dubsky. I want to say this: when uh, I was at the Recreation Department back in 1970, we formed the Romulus Men's Golf League, and Ron Dubsky was the uh, was the secretary treasurer, and uh, that league uh, we just we're just finishing up uh, in a in a couple of weeks, and it'll be our 36th year of that uh, mm. of that golf league. So it's served uh, served us well. Just to bring you up to date on some of the things that happened last week. Last Tuesday was the third of four free youth days. Uh, this week it was held at the Coleman Center. Approximately 50 youngsters showed up for that. On Thursday, the Chamber of Commerce held their annual golf outing at the Links of Gateway. And uh, we think this was the 29th or 30th annual outing. Uh, there were 16 foursomes and other guests attending. Friday night was another successful sounds in downtown. Over 100 people were in attendance to hear Randy Moffitt's Rust Belt revival. Saturday was the annual Youth Day at the Coleman Center, sponsored by St. John's Lodge. 395 book bags were given away and it was estimated that over 800 people attended this event. So that had been quite an event for St. John's. Yesterday was another Romulus Strong fundraising event. This time it was for Dorothy Risner. We all know the Risner family. Dorothy was the secretary to uh, Mayor Bill Oakley. And needless to say, it was another packed house, and it was just a fantastic event. At 6 o'clock tonight, as the mayor alluded to, we dedicated another veteran's monument and flagpole. This time it was at the Romulus Memorial Cemetery as the Romulus VFW Post 9568 and Romulus Boy Scout Troop 872, along with the Romulus elected officials and the Romulus Cemetery Commission, unveiled the monument and raised the American flag. The flagpole was donated by the VFW and the monument by Bill Crane of Crane's Funeral Home. Upcoming events on Tuesday, you can give the gift of life by donating blood at the Romulus Athletic Center from 1 until 6.45 p.m. On Tuesday will be the last of the four free youth days. This week we'll be at the Oak Brook uh, Neighborhood Park and it'll be our own Romulus Olympics, which is a combination of our most popular activities during those four weeks that we had uh, free youth days. Sounds in downtown will uh, wrap things up. Uh, they are presented by the uh, DDA. Uh, they'll have a salute to the disco era with the sound of Boogie Dynamite from seven to nine. You can wear your best 70 disco outfit and we'll have prizes for the best outfit. So get those chains and hats and all those things that they used to wear back then. I don't remember those things, but 
Uh, so anyway, you can win a prize, but wait, there's more, there's more. Uh, there will be a beer tasting event, and uh, we will again bring you the movie that got washed out uh, two weeks ago. Uh, we'll blow up that giant 20-foot screen again, and we'll show from the beginning The Zookeeper with Kevin James. Showtime is at around 9.15. We are proud to announce the opening of another dog park, this time at our crown jewel, Emerald, em, Elmer Johnson Park. This will be on Tuesday, September the 1st from 6.30 to 8.30. We'll have the police canine demonstration along with free frankfurters. We can't say hot dogs during this thing. It's got to be frankfurters. Uh, free face painting, and each pooch will get a free gift. Coming up, of course, is the 18th annual uh, Pumpkin Fest, the weekend of September the 18th. The festival, as usual, will kick off with the Romulus Rotary's Parade of Lights. The route will be the same as last year, starting at the high school, heading up Tobine to Shook, uh, up Goddard through downtown on our new road, through uh, new street through downtown Romulus, and we'll end, of course, at the Progressive Club. And don't forget, starting that night, there will be bingo uh, at the Senior Center for the Romulus uh, Animal Shelter. Farmer's Market continues on. It'll be uh, on Wednesdays from noon until 6 through October the 14th. And one last thing, the Senior Resident Home Makeover Project is having a basket raffle. Proceeds will be used for supplies for the volunteer-based program. You can win a basket full of U of M football-related goodies, including two tickets to the Oregon State game. There's a $10 donation. Drawing will be held on September the 8th, 4 p.m. in the mayor's office. And so for all of these and other events, please tune in to Romulus Community TV Channel 18. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Thank you, Dennis. Appreciate it. Uh, so those are my informational items. I have two action items under my report, if I could please, from council. Uh, the first is 5A, and what we have is a request to extend our bid award for the RFP 12-13-38. Uh, it's a 12-month uh, extension to purchase computer equipment, hardware, and software, both from CDW, Government, LLC, and Zones, Inc., and those funds have been budgeted and available at a technology service uh, capital outlay. Mr. Chair. Yes, Ms. Roscoe. I'll make that motion to extend bid award RFP 12-13-38 for 12 months through July 22, 2016 for purchase of computers, computer hardware, and software from both CDW Government LLC and Zones Incorporated. Support. support. <clears throat> In motion by Ms. Roscoe, supported by Ms. Choke, to extend and bid award RFP 12 slides 13 38 for 12 months uh, through July 22, 2016, for purchase of computers, computer hardware, software from both CDW Government LLC and Zones Incorporated. Any discussion? Hearing none, Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you, Council. Uh, next item, 5B, there's actually uh, two action items requesting. The first one is for the Pumpkin Festival itself and the second one for the parade. Uh, the first request you have before you is to authorize the closure of Hunt Street between Goddard and Bibbins. Uh, beginning 8 a.m., uh, the closure of Goddard Road uh, between Moore Street and the railroad tracks beginning at uh, 12 p.m. on Friday, uh, September 18, 2015, and will end uh, at 8 p.m. on Sunday, the 20th of September. So moved, Mr. Chairman, for Support. the first motion. The motion by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Mr. Kraut, to authorize the closure of Hunt Street between Goddard Road and Bibbins Street beginning at 8 a.m., and the closure of Goddard Road between Moore Street and railroad tracks beginning at 12 p.m. on Friday, September 18, 2015, and ending at 8 p.m. on Sunday, September 20th. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you, Council. And the second item is for the Parade of Lights, uh, and this is a request to authorize the closure of Tobine Road uh, from the high school uh, to Shook Road and then Goddard through downtown up to five points. Uh, it's beginning at 7 p.m. the closure on Friday the 18th and will reopen at approximately 10 p.m. that same evening. And this is for the uh, Rotary Parade of Lights. And this is the same route as last year, as Dennis said. Uh, this was the recommendation from uh, our public safety 
uh, based on the roads and worked on with the schools and PD and so forth. So they felt it would be good to keep this same route again for this year. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Support. It's been motioned by Ms. Abdo, supported by Ms. Roscoe, to authorize closure of Tobin Road from the Runners High School exit to Shook Road, Shook Road to Gar Road ending at five points beginning at 7 p.m. on Friday, September 18, 2015, reopening at 10 p.m. Friday, September 18, 2015, for the Rotary Parade of Lights. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you, Council. That concludes my report. Thank you. Six A is the clerk's report. Um, before I address the line items on the agenda, um, I'd like to uh, council to entertain a motion to uh, for a memorial uh, resolution for Johnny May Cole. Um, Mrs. Uh, Cole passed away, I believe it was August the 8th. Um, she's the mother of Reverend John Cole, who is the pastor of the Union Grove Baptist Church. She's been a resident of Romulus for about 40 years. Um, and uh, just a very quiet lady, but she did love the community, and every now and then she'd go to the senior center, but uh, she was, you know, she was in her uh, late 80s, and uh, so just want to have a resolution for the family. So mm -hmm. moved, Mr. Chairman. The motion by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Abdo, for a memorial resolution for Mrs. Cole. Uh, Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. I have one more item. Um, this evening, it had already been mentioned by Mr. Davidson, we had the flagpole and monument dedication ceremony. And um, I would just like to acknowledge someone and ask if you would uh, adopt a resolution uh, of appreciation, and that's for Jan Lemon. She doesn't know what's coming, and I know she doesn't look for, she doesn't want, you know, she doesn't look for these types of things, and, and, and she, you know, her dedication and commitment, it's from her heart, and, um, you know, we've, she worked collaboratively with the VFW Post 9568, and, and making, and also with Mr. Crane, and those making sure that um, this day came, you know, came to pass, and it was a great, um, dedication and it's just something one of those things for us to be proud of um, in our city in our com uh, in our community and uh, so if I again I know it's catching her off guard but I think she deserves it and she does a lot of work in the cemetery and sometimes I think um, um, Bob had mentioned it earlier, sometimes we don't always see eye to eye, but I know her heart's in the right place, and I know that uh, when you go inside of our cemetery, it's, it's clean, it looks very nice, and um, she has a lot to do with that, uh, Mrs. Lemon and the cemetery board. So if council would entertain a resolution. So Support. Been, been motioned by Mr. Kraut, supported by Ms. Roscoe, for appreciation and award for Ms. Jan Lemon. Um, Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. And again, thank you to everyone who, who worked collaboratively on yes. behalf of Mr. Mayor. As a, as a clerk being the sexton, it was really nice. So a thank you to, uh, to everyone. Yep. Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman. Yes, Ms. Abdo. I'll make the mo motion to first honor Mr. Crane for his support, support. for the uh, flagpole. Okay. It's been motioned by Ms. Abdo, supported by Mr. Wadsworth. Resolution for Mr. Crane. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Okay. And the second one? Second one. Uh, I do the resolution sure. to honor the VFW sure. for their dedicated work for this support. Okay. Who supported that? Okay, Ms. Abdo. It's been motioned by Ms. Choke, supported by Ms. Abdo for VFW resolution. Uh, Ms. Choke? Yes. 
Ms. Abdo. Yes. Mr. Kraut. Yes. Ms. Mikowski. Yes. Ms. Roscoe. Yes. Mr. Wadsworth. Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you, Council. You're welcome. Thank you. Under my report, uh, line item 6A1, um, before you is a request to schedule a public hearing for PACSPEC located 8111 Middle Belt Road. Uh, the public hearing uh, request date is for Monday, September the 14th, 2015 at 7 o'clock p.m. And this is to review their request for an industrial facilities tax exemption certificate. So moved, Mr. Chairman, that we schedule this public hearing for PACSPEC for September 14th at 7 p.m. Um, for the uh, review of their tax exemption certificate. Support. Motion by Ms. Choke, supported by Ms. Mikowski. We requ request a, a schedule of a public hearing for PAC Spec 8111 Middle Belt Road on Monday, September the 14th, <coughs> 2015 at 7 p.m. to review their request for an industrial facilities tax exempt certificate. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. And 6A1, um, for your consideration um, under this line item, it's a request from the Redford Township Clerk and asking council to our, our legislative body to, to consider adopting a resolution um, encouraging the repeal of the Michigan Fireworks Safety Act of 2011. Um, Clerk Christie, um, having, she, he included a, uh, a copy of his letter and resolution that went to Governor Snyder. Also, there is uh, letters and a list of other communities that have joined in um, with um, in support of repealing the Michigan Fireworks Safety Act of 2011. Also, um, we presented to you another resolution. It just came in today, and this is a resolution from um, Southgate. So they have joined in this. So it's for your consideration. Um, to de decide so moved, if you uh, want to do Mr. This. Chairman, I, th I think it's an excellent idea. Support. Support. <clears throat> in motion by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Roscoe, for a request from Redford Township Clerk to adopt a resolution encouraging the repeal of the Michigan Fireworks Safety Act of 2011. Any discussion? Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, from Ms. Ms. Cho and then well, Ms. Apto. In the resolution, Item one of the resolution says that we strongly encourage the state legislature to repeal Public Act 256 of 2011 or 2011. I would like to that in our resolution that that be, language be changed to demand that they uh, fine repeal with this. with me, the maker of the resolution. That's fine with me. And that copies of the communication be sent, of course, to the governor and all our elected officials. Okay. I, I was just going yes, to piggyback, thank you, uh, that we customize our resolution to what we want. Right. And I think making a demand for the safety of the people in Romulus to repeal that uh, yes. law would be there's appropriate. Still, there's, there's, um, those fireworks are still going off around my house. The fire, every day there's little firecrackers now. They're, <clears throat> There, two weeks before the holiday, there are explosions everywhere. Since then, there's just the firecrackers. <laughs> it's been almost an everyday thing. Okay. So we would end up, I'm sorry, we would end up rewriting this resolution to fit yes. our needs, right? Okay. Yeah, Ms. Clerk. Under discussion, while we're still there, we'll, we will make sure that um, as we go through this, I'm sure we will have to meet with our um, public safety director as well as drafting up the uh, language for this resolution. Um, after it's been drafted, of course, council will receive a copy of this. You'll have to sign it anyway before it goes out to um, the other supporting communities as well as to Governor Snyder. Thank you. 
Okay. So just excuse me under discussion. Yes, so then Mikowski. what's our process? This has to come back to us again for approval of the final document? No, you, you'll just, I mean, we will prepare the resolution and then you all will sign off on it. You can sign off okay. on the resolution. Right. But I we just wanted it to yeah, be speedy. Right. No, we've taken note of, you know, to include the word uh, demand. Mm -hmm. And I know also include about the safety of the citizens, mm -hmm. specifically in Romulus. And this so. will come back to us? Yeah, it, it will come back to you, but just, you know, for a signature. If I could, I'd like the word included uh, animals also. Animals? Okay. My animal is terrified. Well, I got two of them that spend three days downstairs in the basement. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, we can also make sure that our lobbyist gets a copy of it so he knows the wishes of council and the elected. So. Okay, great. Any other well, it's been a motion by uh, uh, Mr. Wisworth. Well, who supported that? It was Ms. Crouch. Roscoe. Yes, Crouch. To, to, to uh, have changes made to the... Actually, I think Roscoe. we all supported it. Yeah, we all uh, for the fireworks repeal of Michigan, which will come back to council for approval. Mr. Wisworth. Yes. Ms. Roscoe. Yes. Ms. Mikowski. I'm so sorry, I just need to clarify that motion. I beg your pardon. But it doesn't come back to us for approval, is that correct? It's just coming back for our signature. We've already approved right. it with this motion, I think, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. right? Okay, okay. thank you then. Yes, I, I vote yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Cho? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes, motion approved. Thank you, that, will, that concludes the clerk's report. Um, 6B is a treasurer's report. Um, she could not be here uh, this evening and asked to be excused. Um, number seven is public comment. And this is the portion on the agenda that's set aside for those in the audience um, for your um, public comment. If you would like to have uh, remarks and public comment uh, under this section, raise your hand after you've been acknowledged. Um, approach the podium, state name and address, and limit your comments to three minutes. Um, Mr. Chair and Council, we do have one written request. Okay. Um, Mr. Tom Haynes. Mr. Haynes. Thank you, Tom Haynes, Chamberlain and Romulus. Jana, thank you. So my headstone looks beautiful as long as I'm looking down. You guys do. <laughs> Second of all, like the mayor, you missed it in your report. Dennis missed it. The chairman missed it. Nobody mentioned anything about the Citizens Academy. In the last email that I got, you guys only had seven people signed up to attend that new um, academy that was supposed to start on the 2nd of September. And it's also not on the Romulus government page also. I mean, you have to actually write in Citizens Academy to get any information out of it instead of that flyer being uh, visible. You're on yeah. Facebook and some other methods and Facebook. flyers, so we can see where it's, you know, it's a great program, so we'd like to get more people out and, you know, support it. If you see it on Facebook, share it to your friends. I'm just saying, if anybody's not on Facebook, if you go to the Romulus government page, it's not there. You have to type it in where you do have the stuff for the farmer's market and uh, you have the flyer for the sounds of Rhymeless and that. So it would be nice if it was there. Um, I just want to advocate for that program. I enjoyed that. I really did. And I'd like to see more participation. And would also like to know how much welcome the alumni is to the new class. I mean, can we attend more classes, at least the ones we missed? Sure, just work those through Damian Hall, Lieutenant okay. Hall, and you know, we, we encourage involvement and support from uh, the first uh, kind of inaugural class that came through. So our plan is to keep them involved in that and try to pull more people into that. So help us spread the word if you could. Uh, the, the thing uh, as far as getting the word out with the activities, the good thing is we have a lot of activities. Um, so, you know, trying to get the word out to everybody. We're doing PSAs on events. Uh, we have a lot of events you heard of, uh, you know, sliver of them from Dennis, but we have a lot of good things going on, so help us spread the word. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and I encourage anybody to attend that. That is, There's a lot of knowledge there that a lot of people could use. Um, I 
got two other things. I want to, I spoke to a number of you council people over the last couple of days. I want to thank you for your time and concern. So the only other thing I'd like to say is that if anybody has uh, the information or if Virginia Williams is listening, I need to contact her. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments from Lawrence? Uh, Ms. Thank you, Mr. Settles. Uh, Ms. Lemon? And I guess to clarify, Jay, there's still more spots, right? So if they still want to, we'll take up to how many? 20 or? Okay. So still good class. It's going to roll. If you have more people interested, let us know. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Lemon? Don't look down, Mrs. Bragg. Look up. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know... When I put my heart into something, I put my heart into it. And I do it because it's the right thing to do. Tonight, this monument is absolutely fabulous. The veterans, Bill Crane, Mrs. Bragg, whoever was on that committee to design that, they done a wonderful, wonderful job. All of us in Romulus have to be proud of our cemetery. They want to say on the news that we're fourth in the worst city, whatever they want to say. They don't know us. They don't have any idea what the mayor does, the clerk, what our council. They need to come out and see what took place tonight to know how this public of Romulus works, the residents together. I want to thank the council, the clerk, the mayor for putting up with me because I can be a handful. Really? <laughs> uh, but if I think it's the right thing to do, then I have to move forward. And I just thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Lim. Any other comments? Mr. Davis. First of all, I want to apologize because I had that academy down and I just, I guess I just ran out of time putting all this together. So I, I really want to apologize for not putting that in my remarks. But one thing I want to, I want to make note about what happened tonight, that monument, uh, uh, that was a privately donated monument from Mr. Crane. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just want you to know that he, he's the one that paid for it and, in, and installed it. So I just want the council and, and everybody to know that that's how that came to be. And of course the VFW paid for the flagpole and the installation of that also. So nothing come out of taxpayers' pockets. And the mayor helped out a little bit on that too. All right, thank you, Mr. Davis. Any other comments? Okay, we'll close that part out. Eight is unfinished business. Mr. Burns. Yes, Mr. Wadsworth. If I could too, Mayor, 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 the road downtown, it's almost done, but it's not done. and. Last Friday, I got calls and no one was even up there We're working on it. I mean, uh, um, we have weekly meetings and updates I get every week. Uh, originally, the dates that they were um, telling us throughout the summer were Labor Day weekend finalization. Uh, I had concerns a couple of weeks ago and called the meeting, and I personally sat in on the meeting. Uh, they uh, are telling me that uh, it's the road will be finished there's still some things that won't be done but it'll at least be open and accessible as a road second week in September still before the festival Good. so that's the target date um, you know bottom line is without getting into all the details uh, when you do uh, road projects and this is a road streetscape sidewalk lights in an old historic area whenever you dig in the ground you don't know what you're gonna hit and uh, we've run into some things that uh, were underground that weren't supposed to be. And so we have to do it right and fix them and work through the channels, the DEQ. And so we've done that. Uh, it's put us you know, a little bit behind, but uh, we do have the uh, preliminary surfaces, the rough surfaces down downtown, uh, but that's the dates that they're giving me right now. Very uh, good. They're Very trying, good. I know sometimes people don't always see all the workers there at once and it has a lot to do with its uh, state bid state run contract and they sub out to other contractors so if you're a contractor you want to come in and for example do all the decorative walls 
all the walks, as many things as you can at one time. Uh, that's not always feasible, so that's why you see things staggered. But uh, that, that's the tentative date they're giving us. We'll, we have a list of um, uh, people in the downtown area, uh, businesses and the like, that get an email blast every week, too, on it to let them know. I know I have personally visited, as, as others in our team, some of the businesses downtown to try to work with them. Uh, I apologize for any inconvenience. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we have to tear things up to make it better. Uh, and I've got people that want to are interested in buildings down there that don't want to do anything until the road's done. So I'm trying to be, you know, um, patient with them, but trying to push the process as, as hard as we can. So that that's the latest and greatest as an overview. That was a that was an excellent. And the the, the marketplace is still people are moving forward with that. That's told. one that we've been in contact on a regular weekly basis and. Um, the analogy that they used or the quote was uh, they, they feel they're 99% there. Um, they're working on some funding for internal improvements they need to do. Uh, they'd already had their request in for liquor uh, license at the state, uh, but he's 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 optimistic, but he's not going to do anything until the road's done. Very good, okay. Uh, so, and, and there's been some others, but I'd rather not. We've no, been showing some other buildings, but the marketplace, uh, there was some uh, brick work that was damaged in the uh, the. the, the front of the building when they did the sidewalk that were getting repaired. Little issues like that right. came up when the sidewalk was done in the 90s. The, when they went to pull the sidewalk out, bricks fell off. <laughs> You're not supposed to have bricks on top of the sidewalk. So we're getting that corrected through the state, uh, but there's a process for it. But um, definitely been challenging, a little behind. Uh, I don't like that, but we're, we're on them hard as much as we can. And the quality of the road is really important too. We've had a couple things come up, like we had a curb that had some cracking issues, and immediately we're like, hey, we're going to get a good road, we're going to get a good curb. There were some uh, pavement issues east of the tracks that we're going to have to fix and iron out. And we, I mean, we're doing the road because we got a bad road in the 90s, so I want to make sure what we do wind up with is quality and is to spec and that our citizens feel that, you know, they're, they're getting the value for their dollar. So. Um, but that's kind of an update on it. That's good. Th thank you, Mayor. Yes, um, Ms. Abdo. Yes, I just want to make a comment about Mary Ann Banks Park. I received numerous calls wondering why the swing sets were down, and I answered them, letting them know that the swing sets were being replaced for safety reasons. And I just noticed today that the city was in there uh, putting a, the first swing set up, so there should be swings pretty soon. Uh, according to the mayor, that they have to... The company sent the wrong swing set, so one of them's going back, but at least we'll have one up. And I want to thank Leroy for getting on that right away when we brought it up. So it looks like by tomorrow we should have swings up there. Yeah, no problem. The smaller ones were done. Unfortunately, the vendor on the larger ones, they, uh, they, they made an error in the shipment, so we're getting that corrected so that they, we will have uh, new swings and safe swings. That's why they originally, if you recall, when uh, Councilman Abdo brought it up and I mentioned to you that uh, when we went out and did an inspection, uh, it was it was a bigger issue. There were some safety issues with not just the swings, but uh, the supports, and we had to sh immediately shut that down, and, and we ordered new equipment. So once it is done, uh, we'll have good, safe equipment and continue. The rest of the park looks good, and come and enjoy it. Thank you. Thanks. All right, thank you. <clears throat> Yellow. Okay. Number nine is new business. Number 10 is communication. Number 11 for approval is warrant 15 16. Yes, Ms. Cho. Uh, I'd like to uh, make a motion that we pay warrant number 15 16 in the following amounts. Find the page. I don't have the page. Page in one. Third page in. New. It does look a little different because of the new software, the BSNA. <laughs> so yeah, I think it has a better look to it. It's just a different look. Yeah, yeah, completely different. All right. Um, for warrant 1516, general fund is $100,580.99. Major Street Fund is $36,496.62. Local Street Fund is $2,158.68. Cable TV, $5,497.38. Cable TV, 
Merriman Road Special Assessment, $3,237.38. Oakwood is $411.56. Community Employee Activity, $35. Garbage and Rubbish Collection Fund, $84,137.02. 911 is $4,814. Narcotics Forfeiture Fund is $7,137.68. The Library Fund is $15,390.95. DDA is $2,478.21. TIFA District 2, $1,088.32. And DDA Goddard Road Construction, $70,126.73. Tiffa Vining Road Construction, $26,137.75. Water and Sewer Fund, $407,349.21. Motor Vehicle Fund, $111,417.78. Technology Services, $18,053.85. Retirees Insurance Benefits, $26,228.68. Revolving Fund, $7,398.25. Current Tax, $373,099.41. Payroll Fund, $19,198.04. For a grand total of $1,000,000. $322,433.49. Support. <clears throat> it's been motioned by Ms. Choke, supported by Mr. Kraut, who paid warrant number 15-16 for $1,322,433.49. Ms. Choke? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Mikowski? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Your votes yes, warrant number 15-16 will be paid. Number 12 is adjourned. So moved. Support. Motion by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Roscoe for adjournment. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Kowski? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Choke? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes, we are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>